This lesson is on the lowest common multiple. Some use the term least common multiple for this work. We'll be looking at 2, 3, and 4 as factors to discover what's the lowest number they have as a common multiple. This is like a race, but in this race, the winner is when everybody has an equal number. So 2 is a multiple of 2. 3 is a multiple of 3. 4 is a multiple of 4, and they are not equal. So I'm going to mark off those first multiples and continue this race. The rule is that I'll always add to the shortest line first. So I'm going to add another set of 2. So the next multiple of 2 is 4. All three factors are not equal in length, so we'll continue with 3. The next multiple of 3 is 6. Two and four are shorter lines, so I'll add another set of two. Two, four, six is a multiple of two, but now four is a shorter line, so I'll add another set of four. So the next multiple of four is eight. Both two and three have not caught up with eight yet, with four yet. The next multiple of two, two, four, six, eight. Now 3 needs to catch up. 3, 6, 9. 9 is the next multiple of 3. But again, I can see that these three lines are not equal. So I'll go back to 2, which is shorter. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Ten is a multiple of two. Four is the shortest line, so I will add another set of four. Four, eight, twelve. Twelve is the next multiple of four. Now it looks like 3 is the shortest line, so I'll add another set of 3. 3, 6, 9, 12. 12 is a multiple of 3. And now it looks like 2 needs to catch up, so I will add another set of 2. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 12 is a multiple of 2. So we can see that 12 is a multiple of 2, 12 is a multiple of 3, and 12 is a multiple of 4. 12 is the lowest common multiple of 2, 3, and 4. It's the lowest number that is a multiple of all three factors. So I'm going to record my work. LCM stands for lowest common multiple, 
and the lowest common multiple of 2, 3, and 4 is 12.